124 News Talk 1290, CJBK, Live and Let Die. That is the name of a new film by Jordan Groves. The hitch of this is Jordan Groves, a Londoner, has managed to put together this film opening next week about skateboarding. Jordan, how long have you been skateboarding for? Hey, uh, well, I've been riding for about 14 years. Now, and that's just about how long I've been filming, too. You, so you, you did this hand in hand? Yeah, yeah. How, how old a cat are you? Do you mind me asking? I'm 24. Um, uh, before we talk about the movie uh, Live and Let Die, I, I want to ask about skateboarding in general because uh, I was joking around with Nick uh, uh, Chinoski, and him and I were talking for a little while and saying, uh, you know, when I was in elementary school, skateboarding was big. That was like when Tony Hawk was the, the biggest name in skateboarding. And then all of a sudden like that, it became that was a geeky thing to do. Nobody goes skateboarding. And then along with Hacky Sack towards the end of my high school career, all of a sudden, skateboarding started coming back in again. When, in your mind, has this always, was it a cool thing at that point? Um, I think it, it was quite, like, I, my, I, my timeline actually sounds quite similar to yours. Like, I, I really was, like, into it around, like, the Tony Hawk era. Right. And, uh, yeah, I think somewhere in between there, it did, did die down a bit. But uh, for me personally, it's always been appealing, so, you know. I never really gave up on it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then, so how do you get good at uh, at skateboarding? Because it seems to me that there's an awful lot of trial and error. Yeah, a lot. Um, basically, that that is key. Like, you're, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get kicked out of spots. Like, at the core of it, like, the real heart of skateboarding is street skateboarding. And obviously, like, we're going to be in spots we're not supposed to be and get kicked out. So, you, you know, you got to be determined and... You know, like there's days that you'll go out and you won't get any clips or, you, you know, you'll just get kicked out and you can't let that put you down, you know? Right. No, I hear you. Jordan Groves joining us. Jordan Groves is a, a local skateboarder who's actually put together a movie, Live and Let Die, which is a skateboarding movie. Where where did you start filming all of this stuff for, for Live and Let Die? Um, well, it actually started as a lot smaller of a project. Um, it's just sort of a local thing and it was just going to be a quick video, but uh, we started stacking a lot of, like, really good clips and all the guys that I filmed with we all went like and did a lot of hard work and you know so I, I decided I'd, I'd put in the time and get the full length out and so it's uh it's 40 minutes long it's going to be uh, debuting Highland Cinema uh April 18th uh, uh at 11 p.m. um as you were putting it together, what did you do? Did you go over to, uh, like, so, for example, over Commissioners in Warncliffe, I believe there's a skate park right in there. Would you go over there and just say, okay, guys, do tricks and I'm going to film you? Or how does how does even directing one of these things work? Yeah, it, it is a lot of work. Like, I've literally done everything myself, like editing, filming. Like So, basically, a typical day, we'd start out at a park. Like, I don't know, there's lots of different parks. Like, between London and Woodstock, like, we pretty much would start like at any park and then we'd head out and hopefully get street clips because you know most of the time you want street clips because those are like the key clips that really make the film so try to hit street as much as we could and then like what do you tell the guy like uh do you say okay i'm looking for i and i'm trying to go in my memory banks of moves for for skateboarding so forgive me if i come across totally like an idiot here <laughs> uh Okay, I need an ollie. Somebody do an ollie so I can film that. Or, or you know, how do you des decide what tricks to ask people to do? Well, that's the great thing about um, like the roster guys that are in this. I, I've been skating with them for so long that I know, like, if there's a rail that I see and I'm, I'm like, all right, well, I'll bring the rail guy. Like, there's a guy who, like, you know, is good at rails and like, and in relation to the ollie, you said I'd be like, okay, let's ollie this like twelve set. Like, you know, he got to go big, so. <laughs> I always take them to the to the right spots, you know. Right. Uh, we're so so. Uh, is there like like you were saying? So you want a rail glide or something like that? So you you say to a guy, okay, you're really good at rails. Is there one park that you go to that's you know known as oh that's really good for rails? Um, I'd say like warm up, like in relation to that, I'd say the barracks, like the Wolsey Barracks in London. That that's a really they got a lot of like bigger handrails, so that's like a decent place to warm up at. Right. <laughs> are they okay with are the military barracks okay with you going over and using their park or do they chase you out 
Oh yeah, like like it's an actual skate park and like, oh okay, it's just called the barracks. But <laughs> <And> I, <yeah. laughs> I'm like, you know, they have guns there. Yeah, you yeah, may want to be a little more sure. careful, Jordan, next time you're going around. Uh, speaking with Jordan Groves, Jordan Groves is a Londoner uh, who's uh, created the film Live and Let Die, which will be uh, debuting April 18th uh, over at the Highland Cinema over at uh, 11 p.m. We're we're. What is your your main goal? Is your main goal to uh, do this professionally? I, I don't know whether people can do that professionally anymore. Is there a professional skateboard uh, 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 filmmaker anymore? Uh, yeah, there actually is uh, a lot of uh, ventures you can acquire from doing something like this. And there's a lot of like companies and stuff that are looking for people to film. But uh, I think that's always been a goal of mine. And I actually went to school for animation and new media and got my diploma this year. Oh, nice. Congrats. Thank you. But uh, I think my, my ultimate goal is that, like, these guys that I skate with, like, they're really great. And, like, you know, I'm, we're so close. And, like, they just, like, you know, this is all about coverage for me. Like, I want to get their names out. And, like, the the quality of the footage they put into this is probably the best that we've ever filmed so far. Because I've done two other full-length videos, but they've just sort of been, like, YouTube releases. As a guy that never made it into uh, into the skateboarding culture, um, is that what the draw is? That it, it seems as though anytime I talk to people, it's there, there's respect for any any skateboarder has respect from another skateboarder. Is there like a kind of a brotherhood in there? Yeah, there really is. Like it, I'd almost say that it, it's almost more than just a sport. It starts to become a lifestyle at a certain point, and I I wouldn't have been like half as happy doing anything else in my life because the amount of people and like adventures and trips I've been on like it's really like life changing stuff you know you say you say you wouldn't have been happy but have you ever tried knitting uh no I no <laughs> exactly exactly just throwing that out there for next time you want to get a little wild and crazy okay and and I think that there's there's due to be a documentary about knitting anytime yeah, that soon that sound like my next avenue yeah <laughs> Uh, so Live and Let Die, it's it's 40 minutes. Uh, uh, what are we going to see in those 40 minutes? Well, I don't want to spoil too much. Right, okay. But, uh, you're going to see some good bails, some kick-out footage, uh, some really big tricks, uh, a, lot of, a lot of interesting things. Do you, know, do you know how much I love the fact that you started off with, you're going to see some pretty sick bails. Oh, yeah. People well, are going like, to hurt themselves the within you the know, first five minutes. for the bails. There, there may be bone through skin at some point in this movie. Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, <laughs> perhaps. Jordan, uh, looking forward to it again. Uh, Jordan, thank you so much for this, buddy, and uh, and congratulations on, on all the success. Thank you very much. All right, Jordan Groves, again, a local filmmaker, local uh, Londoner. And uh, the movie Live and Let Die, it's funny, Ryan Spence and I talked about this because Ryan was a little deeper into the, um, into the skateboarding culture than I was. And they, they, he said the word so perfectly. He said, we, I'm happy with these group of people. Like, these people make me happy. They all look like they're having a great time. And so Ryan Spence and I were saying, like, I wonder what they would do if, like, a 30, 33, 34-year-old guy walked up to them and said, hey, um, any, any chance you guys could give me some pointers or anything like that? Like, would we be laughed out? And, and I, I actually posed the question once. I probably should, could have asked, uh, asked Jordan this. But I, I remember talking to a skateboarder. He goes, oh, no, man. We're like, we do. We, we want the sport to grow, so of course we would say, come on over, no problem. But of course now you have kids, and so we would be doing the sissiest stuff, eh? Like, it would be, it would be kind of like, oh, yeah, okay, I just got, I'm going to go down this hill. Oh, scary. You want to try a rail, Al? Nope. Nope, I'm good.